Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we are finally looking at uh, something really that I'm really been excited about and I just got these ships and I just couldn't help <laughs> to play some yesterday. Uh, they're not yet out but they will be out soon. The top tier Swedish or pan-European but they're really Swedish destroyers. This is the Halland. And uh, if you've ever played the Friesland, then you can kind of imagine why I'm so excited about this ship. Because the Holland was actually a 1950s design. And she and uh, there, I think there were four planned in, in the class, but only her and the uh, Smallland, the sister ship, were actually built. And a bunch more for, was it Argentina? I cannot remember, but uh, a couple more for export. But this is basically uh, a similar, almost the same Bofors demonstrator platform than you have on the Friesland, which was a, a Dutch destroyer. Uh, the, uh, I, I don't know what the Holland herself did, but she does no longer exist. The, small, the Smallland, on the other hand, does. And at some point, the two of them were actually the biggest destroyers of the Swedish Navy, uh, the biggest ships uh, in general of the Swedish Navy. And the Smallland still exists as a museum ship, which is amazing. I always like that happening. So, yeah. Um, si similar Bofors demonstrator setup. We do have... I mean, we have a very quick look. We do have the same 120mm uh, Bofors guns that we do have on the Friesland. I think the fire rate... I have to check but, uh, and actually compare them, but I think the fire rate is mm, slightly sl slightly lower than Holland. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. And we have a bunch of anti-aircraft guns, and that is what makes this really exciting. So, let's uh, start out. Actually, let me quickly add the Friesland in the mix here. Give me a second. Friesland, we want to add you to the list. Okay, let's start between... Let's start between the Holland and the Friesland and see how these two compare. Uh, they're not too far from each other. Yeah, the Friesland has a... Um, has a faster reload on the guns, but a slightly less range and a slightly less damage. And, uh, well, obviously the Friesland doesn't have any torpedoes, but the Friesland does get smokes, so that enables a lot more of the whole gunboat style. Uh, the Halland does not get a smoke, but uh, the Halland actually gets <laughs> better AA than the Friesland. Now, the Halland is a tier 10 ship, so <laughs> it's to be expected. But uh, let's compare a couple more things. Um, for example, and this might become this this might become interesting later. Let's compare the Holland and the Minotaur. Now, no one has ever accused the Minotaur of not being a very good AA ship. But if we look at this, I would say um, the Holland's AA is at least on par when it comes to the statistics. And if we look actually at the ship skills. The Holland gets a defensive AA level three, whereas the Minnow uh, Tor gets a level two, uh, the level one, and the Holland gets three of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, there might be another ship that we need to add in here. Um, give me one second. Where do we have that? We're going to need cruisers from tier ten from the Americans. This this guy here. Uh, let Let's add you to the list, and have a quick look. Now. Obviously, it's not a Worcester, right? It's a destroyer, for goodness sake. It has two main guns and a bunch of smaller ones. But it's also not that far off, honestly. And uh, the, the Worcester gets the same skills. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a pocket Worcester. <laughs> uh, and that's really what the ship is. So, uh, but uh, let's start from the beginning. Not the Worcester. No, that's the wrong ship. Terry, don't look at the Worcester. Why are we looking at the Worcester? You're getting confused here. We want tier 10 Swedish destroyers. There we go, Holland. All right, so the Holland, uh, 16, no, 18,000 hit points, relatively sturdy destroyer, decent armor. Uh, the speed is pretty lackluster. So she is 34 knots, is not hugely quick. She is okay-ish maneuverable, but she's not the most maneuverable out there. Now the guns, and again, we've talked about these. The guns are good. They are firing a little bit uh, slower than the guns on the Friesland, but not by too much. And the biggest difference is that the Friesland gets smokes, where the Holland gets not. <laughs> so, um, 
But they're, they're still very, very good guns. And even though it's just two twin turrets, well, these are 1950s designs. So they are uh, very, very capable. Uh, fully automatic turrets and dual purpose, obviously. And they have a pretty good uh, fire chance as well. The torpedoes, as we know on the pan-European line, are a bit special. They're very quick. They reload reasonably quickly, uh, but they don't hit very hard. They do have a very good chance of flooding them. Although, in tier 10, I find this very, very difficult to use because... Um, okay, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's get, let's get, through, let's get through the stats first and then I'll talk about the playstyle a little bit. But uh, yeah, this 39% chance of flooding and 86 knots. So these are very, very quick torpedoes and they have a really good chance of actually causing a flood. And we get 10 of them, which is historically not quite correct, because I think the Holland only had a single uh, quintuple and a triple launcher, so for a total of eight. But um, that's what we get in game. Because I don't think we have mixed torpedo loadouts anywhere. The AA is um, fr frankly murderous. <laughs> I should say. So uh, the the large caliber has in in this this is a fully built ship, but in the setup has a uh, over four kilometer range, and uh, almost three kilometer on the small caliber AA, with a surface detection of five point eight, which is not terrible for a tier ten ship. So, what can we pick in terms of elite bonus? We can either pick a buff to the guns and get the reload time down by a little bit, or we can. Uh, go for an AA buff. Now, I think there are two possible builds for the Holland and in general for the higher tier uh, Swedish destroyers, or pan-European really. Uh, you can either go for a gunboat torpedo boat build and try to do as much po damage as possible with the damage over time, because the torpedoes themselves are not going to do a huge amount of damage. Uh, so you talk we're talking about um, and dropping one spread at a time with like a 10 second difference trying to cause a flood with the first one or use the guns to 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 uh, bait a damage cone and then uh, drop the torpedoes in the wake and see if you can get a perma flood going or do it the other way around and try to go for the perma fires and that's a valid build because while she doesn't have a smoke and she is on the slow side for a destroyer she does have an engine boost and she actually gets four heals so that's one possible build the other possible build is to go full on AA and do a fully AA spec ship and just go blazing AA. Now, the downside of this obviously is if you if you don't encounter carriers, that's a bit of a waste really. So what I've done here is I've gone for a mixed build. So I do have the AA specialization in the elite bonus, but in the modules, I um, and, and in the modules I have the uh, armament mod one here for AA range. Um, you do want the propulsion mod because again she is uh, on the slow side and you really re and you don't have a smoke you really need to be able to bob and weave <laughs> when you're getting shot at and in the third slot now if you wanted to go for a full on AA build you would obviously take the uh, large caliber AA range um, or you could go with a steering aim mod for for the more uh, aggressive uh, just damage over time build. I personally prefer to use concealment because that allows me to, well, outspot other destroyers and um, allows me more utility. Uh, and I'll, I'll, again, I'll talk about that in a second, how I get to this. The supplies loadout is not full on concealment. I actually have a speed and um, reload and extra AA ammo. So there's kind of my mix here. Usually I would take the high-grade coal for better surface detection, but this surface detection is good enough that you can surprise mo with this setup, that you can surprise most destroyers, which gives us a bit of a more, more of a buff to the AA still. So, um, the ship skills. This is where it really sits here, right? So, uh, sh she does get an additional repair kit, just like the British heavy cruisers. Um, and she gets three engine boosts, two radars, and three defensive AA three just in case this isn't obvious what this means <laughs> this uh, boosts increases the small caliber AA by 200% for 20 seconds the small caliber AA in this setup on this ship is 323 so we're talking about a small caliber AA of over 900 <laughs> yep 
<lacht> yep. <lacht> this, <lacht> this thing is fun. Uh, the, the radars mean, in combination with the excellent guns and the very fast torpedoes, that this thing is actually a really veritable destroyer hunter. I, I have taken on German high-idea destroyers in this thing. Uh, probably the only destroyer I wouldn't tussle with is, uh, is a Kaba. But um, uh, yeah, the, the fast torpedoes can be coming as a nasty surprise for destroyers. Uh, and um, as soon as they realize, either they panic when they see you, or they realize that uh, they're losing a gunfight, they're trying to smoke up, you radar them. <laughs> It's a bit like in the pan in the pan Asian destroyers, only that you have torpedoes that are dangerous to enemy destroyers as well. Uh, so this this is this is a this is a really a really fun thing to do. I play the ship as a full on support ship. So if you do like if you do that and you play for the win and not for the damage, and uh, you do things like uh, giving AA support, you do things like um, spotting and hunting enemy destroyers down. Uh, these sort of things, you are not going to do a huge amount of damage because, well, uh, first of all, the torpedoes don't hit extreme, don't hit very hard, and uh, yeah, you can't really concentrate on uh, damage over time because you do have to, you know, deal with things like enemy destroyers. But it is a how am I say this? It helps your team win. Uh, let's have a very quick look at the stats. Give me a second to to uh, to look that up. Uh, this obviously be my press account. So where is the Holland? Uh, not my personal. There she is. So I've played eighteen test battles. <laughs> That's a lot. They can tell you how many, how much fun I've had in this ship. Um, and we've won fourteen of them. For and and this isn't because I did a huge amount of damage. Because if you look at the um, at the average damage, it's thirty thousand. It's not much for a tier ten ship. <laughs> I, I I have tier six ships with a higher average damage. Uh, this is not for me. This is not a ship uh, that is there to deal damage. This is a ship that uh, helps the team win. So let's take a very quick look at the commander, and um, still reusing that Christmas elf here because that's the only one I have. Uh, I have the underwater protection. I do have battlefield support for an additional defensive AA in case carriers don't learn a lesson. But uh, three, oftentimes three is enough. So um, it's it's valid to go torpedo alert here. You do want preheating. You absolutely, definitely, certainly want defensive AA. Uh, I have Daredevil and um, the exploit weakness because, again, um, yeah, if if you are playing for damage over time or if you get actually into the luxury that you can start stealth torping uh, things and uh, actually farm some damage on battleships, then this is quite useful. Uh, I do have to fully prepared. Actually, have the adrenaline adrenaline blah, adrenaline rush difficult word uh, you you do want engine overload and in I've just got honor seeker here because uh, you know master reload doesn't make sense and I don't usually take compartment maintenance because I tend not to be on perma floods uh, you could go either APCS or IFAG because these are 120 mils and the high explosive is pretty good and the armor piercing at range will occasionally bounce off enemy destroyers but um, uh, IFAG might be the better choice, really, because most of the time you will be firing high explosives. All right. Um, the historical camel gives us torpedo range and torpedo speed. <laughs> as if we didn't. As if we needed torpedo speed. Um, and as if we needed torpedo range. So, in my opinion, not necessarily something you must have. Um, I mean, surface detection minus 4% is good to have. And the traverse as well because, again, she is not the most maneuverable ship out there. But um, I, I feel like it's not a must-have camo, and it doesn't reflect that this, in my opinion, is actually a pretty veritable gunboat on her own right. Uh, so, as usual, we are going to set it up with the Seaborn Assault. Lastly, the Battle Honors. Um, win 20 battles. Okay, that's doable. Uh, capture, yep, that's very doable. <laughs> yes, uh, you get that done in roundabout five battles when carriers are in play. Uh, class flooding 60 times uh, and um, cause 100, 105,000 points of damage. So for that one, you actually might have to, you know, play a little bit selfishly and um, just concentrate on uh, doing damage. But yeah, let's get into some games. 
in the first one we are in playing domination and we're up against well a good carrier player apparently what do we have on the enemy team midway ohio monty double ori daring and kaba okay so yeah all all kinds and um one two three no one two divisions two triple divisions on the enemy team so we do have some good players on our own side here and um, let's see what Midway can come up with. But I'm going to head over into C-Cup. Because, well, one thing, if you see a carrier in the enemy team, <laughs> you're actually not afraid in this ship. But you're going like, oh, om nom nom planes. So uh, I am going to head over in towards C-Cup and kick on the engine boost. So even with the, um, with the preheating skill and the engine boost up, you're only doing 40 knots. But it looks like the carrier is scouting our direction. So I'm going to see if I can grab myself uh, that capture circle it'll depend a little bit of what's coming in but uh, yeah let's see let's see what this is going to look like uh, for very first things first we want to spot because our carrier is busy the other direction and the carrier goes for me yes he does okay so i'm gonna slow her right down there come uh, there go the dive bombers there come the torpedo bombers so I'm gonna accelerate up again just in case uh, yeah no that that drop has completely missed unless he was not aiming for me but uh, yeah, these planes are not going home. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, that's 12, that's 12 planes shot down. So unfortunately that means I'm now detected, which means there's everybody's gonna start shooting at me because, you know, unreleased ships and, and all that is always fun. The torpedoes, by the way, have a 10 kilometer range and with a 50 second reload, you can actually be pretty quick. Okay, there's a Kaba. Now Kaba is the one thing I don't really wanna get um, into an engagement with but i have spotted him and there's a cruiser who should have where's that right right next to me there something something italian so you should have uh you should have angles at that thing so if you could find it by in yourself to shoot the cover okay torpedoes missed yeah uh cover is a cruiser right you don't want to get into a gunfight with that thing but um let's see the, the enemy team is kind of concentrating here let's see if i can steal the cup off them and uh, just sit behind that island and make everybody's life unpleasant. And of course, if the two Henri's decide that they want to come this way, then things are going to get interesting. But first, we're going to need to deal with Kaba. Okay, now I'm spotted, so I might as well start shooting at him. But uh, given that I'm here, uh, the Kaba is not going to come out. So I'm just going to have to... Um, and yeah, I think the cruisers are coming this way, so that's unfortunate. But we're, hold we're now holding down... I mean, we're not capping C, but we're holding down four... Uh, four enemy ships, more or less, because they don't want to come in here because there's a destroyer sitting right here. And they probably want to start shooting at me. Okay, okay. Kaba smokes up, radar up. <laughs> Kaba no longer smoking. Okay, it'd be really grand if somebody could, you know, take shot at that thing, but um, I, I see you all busy dominating the other end. And that one destroyer out there is, uh, I don't know where, the, where he's going, but um, yeah, I'm just going to take some fire. And uh, yeah, please, please go cup A because I'm holding everybody down here in the meantime. Okay, Kaba doesn't want to poke out. Well, can't really blame him. Can somebody kill that thing, please? Uh, I don't think anyone's in a position to do this. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do it myself then. Uh, still taking fire from the Oris because obviously I'm still spotted because I'm sitting right next on the other side of that, ro of that rock. So, okay, someone at least is trying to hit the Kabarovsk. But uh, okay, he's coming out. So uh, here, have some torps. And... Um, See, that's the problem. I've got, what, five torps in, uh, five torpids in, but um, obviously it's not enough to, to kill the Kabarovsk. So someone else is going to have to do that, but please, kill that thing. Uh, he's on very low health, but then again, so am I. Um, just get a couple of shots off, see if I can do anything. Set a fire, maybe. Okay, the Iowa takes him out. Thank you, thank you. So now uh, I'm going to grab the cup. And once again, uh, just just sit here. I mean, I don't have any illusion that I'm going to be doing much in terms of damage here. Uh, I'm, I'm here to pre a, prevent the carrier from coming anywhere near me because he should have learned his lesson the first time he, he, come, he came around. And um, battleships, if you could kill one of those Henri's, that'd be absolutely swell because these guys are really the ones um, causing me grief here. But I mean, at least as long as they're shooting at me, they're not shooting at the battleships. The Ohio is though, but nobody wants to get into the capture circle. So we're holding that cup and I'm not letting that cup go. Okay, Henri is torping, um, just in case I'm poking my nose out and I'm trying not to. So I just, remind them, just to remind them that I'm still here. I'll poke out a little bit. Okay, they're firing again. 
And the battleships are slowly whittling away at the Henri's, but I am running reasonably low on hit points here. So uh, either I'm going to die without doing something, or I'm going to go, go out guns blazing here. Uh, yeah, I have nowhere to hide, and I think I'm just going to torp the Ohio and then get the and then die in in a glorious fire. So there goes some torps, and I'll see how long I can dodge the sh shells because now there are two cruiser, uh, there are two sh enemy ships in the cap, so I'm not holding the cap anymore either. So there's really no point of me in being there. Any floods? Yes, there's a flood. Can I still get a perma fire? Well, un only if I survive long enough, the 10 seconds. Uh, that's one shot from the Ori. The other Ori is gonna shoot at me. Oh, that's a perma fire, and I'm dead. <laughs> okay, uh, but you know, um, we've held down more than half of the enemy team around C Cup. We've prevented the carrier from lending any support, and <laughs> uh, we'll we'll see if if that was enough. We are le ahead in points because we are holding B and A Cup now, and. Um, we have helped kill, get that Kabarovsk killed and prevented them from looping around here and just rolling our team up. So, uh, all in all, I'm I'm contented with that result. Well, let's see if, if my if the team can manage to hold on. The Alsace is on half health. What are you people sitting back there? Um, I don't understand that. This is, these are cruisers. Go rush them. That's an Ori. Um, just get, get close and blap it in the side, and it'll be gone. It's French. <laughs> He doesn't have any armor, presumably. I mean, I've never play played this thing. I should, actually, at some point, but... Um, yeah, defend B. Uh, we're we 100 points ahead because of the caps we've been holding. So even if we lose one ship, we might lose the Alsace here because the carrier is focusing them down. See, now that I'm not here anymore, <laughs> they actually get focused down by the carrier. Okay, there goes the Alsace, but uh, Iowa takes out one of the Henri's. So that's uh, that should be, hopefully, game. Uh, okay, uh, Ohio takes out Shima. It's gonna take some torps in return. So that, that's getting close again. Uh, Midway is sitting in a very strong position there, but if the Ori decides to poke his nose out. But he's got Iowa problems, so probably not gonna do it. Ohio is perma flooding over there. Uh, it's not gonna die anymore, but Yamato sits back there with full health, and uh, the carrier just needs to survive for 15 more seconds, or actually 10 more seconds really at this point and make sure that he doesn't get killed, and I don't think the Ohio can kill him that quickly, and neither can the Ori, so I think that is game. It was close. But uh, yeah, so this sort of thing um, you can do in in this destroyer, because if the, if the carrier tries to evict you from a position, oh well, he loses planes. <laughs> because you, because you effectively have a pocket Worcester <laughs> in this thing. All right, so if we don't, yeah, we came second to the last in the team. That's okay, right? I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling good about this. And uh, we shot 12 planes down, and then the carrier decided, nope, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. But uh, let's do that. Let's do a second one, and um, have a look at some more, maybe where I'm actually surviving. So here we are on our glass, and once again we are up against a carrier team. Um, Yugo, Yugo Moshima. Yugo Moshima, Worcester, Venezia. <laughs> Worcester. Uh, Monte Isomo and Midway. All right, let's go. Uh, what do we have on our team? Uh, Mino. Mino might be useful. And once again, a division on the enemy team. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is, well, because it's a carrier battle, I'm going to see where the carrier is going and see if I can lend some AA support. Because unlike in other destroyers in this thing, I mean, I don't, I'm don't i the only destroyer in here. I don't have anybody to protect. So I might as well just, um, uh, I mean, no, no other destroyers to protect. I might as well just move forward and see where the carrier is going. Okay, carrier seems to be scouting east. So that's where I'm going to head. Yep, engine boost up. What's that over there? Mino. Okay, Mino should be able to defend himself, but let's uh, let's give him some AA support. You know, Mino might come in useful. Um, it's always good to have one of those around. So, a defensive AA up, and let's go and start killing some planes. And I think that's an early drop. Yep, so that was an early drop, so uh, he hit the island with, I think, three of the torpedoes. Because Mino was going was going for but you know if he was fly if we if we if he was flying over he wouldn't have survived the the, the planes wouldn't have survived All right now we're going to go and scout yeah we need to scout because uh, our carrier isn't scouting so we do need to we do need to get over here and um, 
and do some scouting ourselves. Okay, that's the battleship spotted over there. Uh, let's get some torpedoes ready, but there should be a destroyer somewhere here. Uh, let's, let's drop one. Oh yeah, there's the Shima. Hello Shima. You see, this is what I mean. I can outspot Shima. Not by much, but I can outspot him. Hello. Okay, let's start opening up at the Shima. There is also a cruiser. Oh yeah, it's the Worcester. Okay, so some more t uh, torps in Shima's direction. And then we do need to uh, bugger off here because, well, there's a Worcester. <laughs> and Worcesters are generally unhealthy. So, uh, dodge some Worcester shots, and now we start in, we get into a gunfight with Shima. That's a very brave Shima. I mean, I have a Minotaur right there, but uh, if he could find it in his heart to just shoot the Shima, that'd be great. But I can deal with him if I need to. So, all good. So, um, uh, first heal up. Okay, a couple of hits on the battleship. No floods. Sometimes you just don't get lucky. Uh, okay, this, I think these were some minor shots. So, now the Shima has realized that he's... Uh, uh, <laughs> I think I believe that um, the technical term for this is he's in the ship. <laughs> so uh, Shima decides, oh, I'm going to smoke up. Well, I have radar. <laughs> and this is well, what we call technically call an ex Shima. So that's Shima dead. Uh, there he goes. And now I just have to stop shooting because uh, Wooster is still around there. But uh, that's that flunk sorted out. And that's that battleship no longer in danger of being shima and I'm undetected, and there come some Wooster shots, but uh, they're landing miles away. Okay, Mino takes out the Izumo. Well done. Thank you. Um, Wooster, could we kill that thing, please? I mean, like, not you, Carrier. I mean, you can try, but... Um, okay, where is he going? So he's flooding, so he's Damaconing, so I have to wait 10 seconds anyway. So one, two, three, four... Where are you going, Wooster? Five, six... Okay, that should be long enough. I just want to figure out where he's going. Um, okay, let's drop one there. Are you going forward? No, he's, he's not going forward. Let's see. I think oh, he's coming under fire, so I think he's going backwards. So let's drop the second spread this way, see if we can get a flood, and see if we can set him on fire. Now, generally in a destroyer, you don't want to get into a gunfight with a Wooster. But, I mean, the Wooster is, is rather overexposed over there, and he's got uh, he's got fire incoming. But uh, to his credit, he sees, oh, destroyer must shoot at. Uh, well, that's okay. At uh, this range, I, uh, I don't think he can hit me very reliable very reliably one torpid only but um, no flood unfortunately and no fire and that's okay uh, we have we have dealt with the Shima the Wooster is um, elsewhere I'm unspotted at least for a second and uh, he's unreasonably low health and the carrier is still trying to kill the Wooster this is not the best use of your planes really but um, uh, anyway we've, we've got him reasonably low from from all that work and uh, okay that's a double fire he's okay his damacon is ready but he's gonna go behind the island i don't think i have elevation to lob this no i don't uh where's my minor i had one around here uh there he is yeah you should have elevation probably you just have to hit him uh no a bit closer to the island a bit closer i think no no you're shooting too far okay now he can't see him anymore uh what does it look like um we're behind on points, uh, but the cup's wide open. Mino, let's go cup. I'll give you AA cover. Uh, that's something a destroyer never said to a Minotaur before. <laughs> uh, there comes some planes. Defensive AA up. Uh, wait, what's that? Is that the Wooster? Is he still alive over there? Okay, plonk, plonk, go the planes. Mino smokes. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, so I don't get Worcestered. Uh, yeah, this still sh yeah, he's still there, that little bugger. Can we kill that, please? Because um, it's really annoying me. So let's have some more torps in that direction. And I think we've shot down most of the planes. Uh, yeah, we have, we've shot down most of the planes. <laughs> I don't think there are any planes left. And uh, Mino, could you ki would you mind killing that booster? But yeah, let's get into the capture. Let's get into the capture circle and... Uh, oh, we're one kill ahead now. Good, but uh, let's just make sure that, um, that we're capping this out. Uh, no, I got one torpid on the Worcester. He has to be on no health whatsoever, but please, let's kill that thing. Please. Uh, okay, I'll help. Because I really need that thing dead. I don't want to be Worcestered. Uh, right. Oh, okay, he's on almost no health, so uh, that's a couple more shots should do it. Okay, I I'll make sure this time. And Oh, sorry, okay. No, I, I wanted to make sure, because I really don't want to have a Worcester sailing around, shooting at me and things. Okay, there's a destroyer over there. There's a Yugumo, so sorry, but I wanted to make sure that that thing's dead. Okay. Now, you leave my Mino alone. Um, I'm going to give you air cover again. <laughs> Keep these planes away from my Minotaur. <laughs> you don't get to drop him. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Alright, that's the dive bombers gone. There's some fighter planes. Uh, torpedo bombers coming in. 
And uh, Carrier makes the cardinal mistake of being indecisive, which means that um, these torpedo bombers are all dead. <laughs> but there was a destroyer here somewhere, so uh, let's see where he is. Um, is he somewhere around here? Is he coming for the cup? Maybe. Mm, oh, there he is. Radar up. Yep. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so uh, I have a mino and I'm not afraid to use it. So here I have some torpedoes and um, uh, there you go. That's one. I mean, I wasn't going to kill him that easily. But, um, okay, yeah, come on, Mino, you can do it, you can kill that thing, use your guns, there you go, okay, Mino, Torps, um, you, you, well done, you, but, Torps, Mino, uh, how are we on points, are we gonna lose if Mino dies, uh, no, I think we're fine, uh, Mino, Torps, <laughs> oh dear, oing, 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 oh, he survives, well done, you, <laughs> And uh, almost cupped out, but not quite. But we did make it up to 300, uh, 300 team points. And um, you see, it was it was good to it was good to keep that miner alive. He's helped me with the Worcester. He was useful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the Holland. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this ship, uh, and I really, really don't care if I do twenty thousand points of damage in a battle. I'm having tons of fun, um, just annoying the hell out of carriers at this point. <laughs> and um, radaring destroyers and uh, torping destroyers and just, you know, just generally playing playing it like a really quick, uh, really stealthy Worcester with good support and torps and everything. It, it's, it's, a, it's a hugely fun ship in my opinion. Uh, if you if you are expecting to do 100,000 points of damage every game, uh, this is probably not the ship for you because once again, you're going to need um, damage over time to happen, so you're going to need perma floods. And uh, if you are playing team oriented, most of the time you're just not going to be in the situation to do that because <laughs> you have to clean up and help out left, right, and center. <laughs> that's just the way it is. So that's it for today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.